Hi there, welcome back to a new journaling video. My name is Lisa and I am really, really wanting to fin off, finish off my 2019 California road trip journal. Um, I'm getting there, I'm getting so close. I have been working on editing some photos. I'd kind of like left a blank space. I find this quite handy, especially if you're wanting to do something in order, actually writing on the pages what you want to go and where. That really helps. I've done it so many times where I then have a story and I think, oh no, I haven't got the space. And you go back and you've forgotten to leave space. So I do write in pencil. And that really, really helps. So I suddenly found myself with a lot of photos just for one overnight stay. We stayed in this beautiful B&B &B called the Fog Catcher Inn. It's in Cambria, right on the Highway 1 in California. That was our sunset that evening. And you literally step out of the hotel. There's a tiny little road where you drive in. It's not like a main road. It's just for people accessing the hotels along there. And you, where is the photo? There's a photo of Holly somewhere. Um, oh, it's here. And then you just walk onto the beach. It is beautiful. And this is the beach there. It's so lovely, so quiet, nobody in sight. It was just such a perfect stay. So that's what I want to document today. So something I'm finding myself having to do on a regular basis since moving into journals is finding out how to display a page with lots and lots of photos and finding different ways to do it as well. You don't want every page looking the same. One of the questions, probably the question I get asked the most is how do I print loads of photos? And if you've been following me on my main channel, you will see that I got this cute little pink selfie printer very recently. And this is how I have printed off these photos. I will be doing a video um, showing different ways of using it. At the moment, I'm still getting used to it. And I've also been following your recommendations of which apps to use and try that kind of thing. Now, the other evening, um, I was working on this page. We had a scrap and chat the other evening in my Patreon Zoom group. Um, if you're interested in jo joining me on Patreon, um, we have like live scrap, uh, scrap and chats where we all just create. There's loads of things going on, downloads, um, lots and bits and pieces. I'll link that down below for you, for you to go and take a look. And a couple of you helped me out with printing off some photos. And um, I know Alex and I think one of the girls as well suggested using the Photoshop Express app. I really like it. I, I struggled with it on this particular day and I did print these photos though here and then I've tried again today and it was much easier this time. The only thing and they said the same that they haven't figured out how to get better borders yet so if you know an app where you can get nice thick borders please do let me know. But I will be, once I've got used to the selfie I will be doing a new video and we'll look at different ways of printing and different apps and that kind of thing. In the meantime, I'm just going to get used to it and practice myself. I love this though. So this is using the Photoshop Express, which is a free app. So we're going to be using these photos today. I'm thinking I want the hotel stay here. So I'm thinking of adding this one as it is with a flip, then that gives me journaling space. Or do you know what I could do actually? I might then even pop these photos on, this, on that side so they go that way. I could add journaling here and then I've got this cute little glassine envelope that was sent to me from Bluebell, Bumble and Bluebells and I was thinking about popping some, some photos in here as well so that's what I might do and then actually cut these ones out and back them onto white paper. So I think that's what we're going to do. I have got some really, really cute papers. I've hacked into them a little bit. These were sent to me by Paper Maze to you so I will add this as an ad gifted. I've used a couple of times, did I use them? in here somewhere recently. I know I've made a couple of greetings cards. Maybe it wasn't in this one here. I can't remember. Uh, I'm sure I've used them recently. This is the other half of my journal which is um, the Disney part of the trip. No, maybe I used them somewhere else. I can't remember. 
but they're cute and I would like to use them today. I'm thinking there was a yellow paper I saw somewhere. They've got some nice bits to cut up. There was a, a yellow one that really caught my eye, this one. I think this will go really well. I love matching my photos with colour and I think the yellow tones would go really well. So I'm going to pull that one out. I do quite like the green and I love this paper here. As you can see, I've cut some bits out and used on greetings cards. I do like the black and white as well. And then I could actually paint over and use some of my own colors. This will be fab for journaling. So I will use that. The, oh, the paper's just so pretty. The collection is called Garden Party, Maggie Holmes Garden Party. I love the green as well, which will go really well. Um, but yeah, there's loads on here that I would like to use. I love the dots. I might actually keep this here for an, although the clouds would go really well as well and add a nice bit of extra colour. Um, I'm not going to use that one. This one could, oh that's so pretty. I actually feel a 12 by 12 coming on with that one. Sometimes you get different feels for different papers, don't you? Um, that's quite cute as well. Um, I just want to use all of them. And then this one, which I've hacked into absolutely loads, this could be really cool for some extra journaling. So um, I want to find that other page now. I can't remember where I put it. I'm going to hunt through actually quickly and see if I can find that other journal page I was working on. I found it. This is my Disney album. I haven't actually journaled on it. But isn't this cute? Using the same paper range. And this was done during one of our Zoom chats, actually. The Patreon Zoom chats. But I'm really, really chuffed with that. I need to finish that one, actually. That one's really cute. I'm going to leave this one out so I don't forget. I seem to be doing that quite a bit lately. I grabbed my journal and then I realised that I was actually... I'd made a page, but haven't actually finished it. And I've still got all the journaling to do. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is attach these two together these two so we've got the evening and then we've got the morning photo so it was an overnight stay we didn't get there until six ish and then we left by about nine in the morning so we didn't have huge amounts of time there but um it was a very convenient stop and after a long drive it was nice to pull up somewhere so beautiful before i stick these together i like the idea of punching a little tab to have at the side um i think that will look really really cute although if i do it at the side that's not going to sit right um i like the idea here to stick out the side but it's not actually going to but it would look really cute wouldn't it i might actually do it anyway there's no rules in journaling isn't that right right which paper i think i might go with the green let's have the green sticking out i'm not as fussed with the reverse so that's cool although should it be the yellow oh i don't know now i think i'm gonna go with the yellow actually let's have a look if i don't like it i can just make another one can't i I think that's the thing you always have to remember. It's only paper. You can always do something else. So if I pop that on the side like that, right, I'm going to pop one of these as well and we'll compare them and see what we think. I do like the green. I love the, I know there's green on the reverse there, but I particularly love this design. I'm actually thinking the green pop them side by side the green stands out so much better I think sometimes you need to do that don't you you need to compare them do you agree with me what would you do yellow or the green I think the green stands out I'll keep that though I might use that in a moment and if I don't use it today I will certainly use it on another page another time right now to get these ready to stick together I've added a little bit of double sided to here. Just want to make sure I put it the right way. We're going to have it in the middle and then this will go on top like this. And then we've got the tab top there. I've got a little bit of extra glue, so let's just rub that off. 
something I did here as well, I actually screenshot the photo and you can see here Moonstone Beach 23rd of August 2019 823. I quite like having the details on there sometimes and what I'm going to do, this is going to sit here but with the, do you know what I have done now, the sticky tape obviously isn't going to run through is it? I think I might have to have the sticky tape this, mm, that's the wrong way now, oh I have balls this up, right let's have a think Lisa, we can have tape there, tape there and that's going to work, right I'm going to pop that to one side and I am going to add this paper on here now I'm looking at the papers that I originally planned and they are so, so busy. I'm definitely not going to do that. I do still like the black and white, but I think I might actually go for this one, plane it down a little bit and add some color to it. I think that's the best option. Otherwise it's just going to be too, over, too overpowering and the beautiful photos are just going to be lost in all that pattern and color and everything. Look at the reverse, it's so pretty. It's so sad to stick that down. This is definitely one of those designs. I think I'm gonna have to go back and order another set of this one. It's one of those collections where you love the back and the front equally, and I can see myself using this collection over and over again. I think before it sells out, I'm gonna go back and get my now myself another collection. Right, by sticking two separate pieces in, it makes the fold of your book your journal so much cleaner than having it all the way I made that mistake on my very first journal a few years ago of doing the paper all across thinking it's nice and neat but you don't get that clean kind of um, divide in the middle right now I can start thinking about this here what I would like to do is add a little bit of color so I think I might add some strips down I think that would look nice let's do that with both actually um yeah i think that's a really good idea i quite like the yellow on the side so i am going to do that and i'm going to be super lazy and just tear it so let me know if you've had a california road trip and if so where did you stay on the one on the way down did you go up or did you go down the highway one i've done it both ways now i did it the first time in 1996 and I'm gonna try and use a more of a clear tape I think to hold it in place two sex or oh, I've got this one here that um, no I don't know I'm gonna use this one because it's not too in your face so the first time I did it was 1996 and we went from um, Los Angeles up to, um, oh, that's the end of that row. We went from Los Angeles to San Francisco. I'm going to have to put some sticky on that. And then this time we went the reverse. I think I prefer it the other way around. Plus also you're driving then on the side of the coast, which is really, really nice. So if I had to recommend a way to drive to San Francisco from Los Angeles, I would definitely do it to start in San Francisco and drive up. Right, I've got some washi tape on the other side on that other page, so that is actually going to go really well. Yay, I'm pleased with that. That's actually worked out really quite nicely. The only thing is that doesn't turn so great. You need to actually have the page open to do that. But that's absolutely fine and it's nice having that sticking out, I like that. I am going to add some washi tape going down. I'm going to need another roll. I, um, I don't think there was much washi on that one actually. It didn't seem to last that long. I've got a green one here. I just think that will look a little bit neater. And it just keeps it in place really nicely. There. And it kind of like hides that divide there doesn't it yeah that's okay actually I'm happy with how that's turned out so let me know which way you've done it if you've done the trip I have this one here for the green or should I 
I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I've just had an idea. I decided to keep the branding strip, that's that piece there on the back, because I quite like the black and white. It goes well with the other page. And what I'm going to do, each bit has a shorter bit left. So I'm going to use that as well. That could work really well. Got to figure out as well where I'm going to put my other photos. So then I was thinking about sliding this here actually and that could create a little bit of a pocket that could work really well and this one here I quite like that hmm. I'm not going to stick it down I'm going to leave it for the time being I really wanted to add this which means I wouldn't actually see um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do I don't think that's going to oh I might actually it will open right that's even better let's take out the dry gypsophilia I would quite like to use that on this page and let's have that here that could close so let's remove this I wonder if I should actually have something underneath so I have found this it says take time to smell the roses and I kind of feel that although we were literally there just a few hours we really stopped and enjoyed just being there uh, whoops we took the sunset and sunrise strolls it was just so relaxing after having a really full-on few days in San Francisco we just hadn't stopped so I'm going to pop that here and then whoops add the glassine envelope as a flip as well so that we can see this that is cute we could add then the glassine we could add a little flip there which I think will look cute and this can now be used as well oh this is going to work really well oh, i'm really excited now now make sure that the flap can still go down there, nice green staple perfect and which way should we have this well i need to be able to add photos there i think i might have to do something here because the photos will need to go in here. Let's cut this down a little bit. There, I'll take that off so that it's visible that it's a little pocket. And then I think I'm going to do exactly the same again, actually. And although, no, I think that needs to flip up. So we're going to do it the other way around. And I'm going to use the same tape again. I'll add a little bit of sticky tape. I always used to feel that I needed to add washi all the down, all the way down the one side, but you really don't. As long as you've got something just holding it in place you don't need the full length so does that work now that works really well and then I can just add the washi on that side perfect that goes really really well I'm happy with that and then I can then I've got something to add up here let's add the torn piece there and the green piece down there. This is actually coming together really nicely, isn't it? Oh, this is so pretty. Now, the other thing we've got, I wanted to add something on there. And I might actually use the green staple again. Like that, let's do two of those. there this is so cute we've got those photos where were the other photos oh they're here and I'm going to cut these up to put them in here right I'm really excited about this I have this one here which has got the three photos 
And look how cute that looks. That just looks so nice. What I might actually do though is pop it on the, so that this is on the reverse so that I could actually write on it. And I would like some white borders on the back of these. And I'm thinking I might have one down here and one up there. I'm going to try the spotty background and see how that looks. I'm not going to worry because if I don't like it, I can change it because once again, it's only paper. I'm not going to let myself worry about it and for it to take the pleasure away from the journaling because I can easily change it and take it off and put clean white like cardstock otherwise if I don't like it. Right, let's see if I like this now. So the idea was originally I was going to pop them in here, but I think they're too hidden and they're so beautiful. So I like them actually. I think the off-white goes really, really well. I'm going to, see I, I, again, I don't want to hide though. Um, I'm just going to pop a tiniest little bit either side here so I can actually use this as a pocket if I want to and then I'm going to pop I always have this thing about having like half a photo I don't really like that I feel like it looks neater like that compared to having it like that the only thing you could do is add another piece of pattern paper to go over that which I don't want to do so I'm going to pop that but I'm only going to stick this side of the photo like that so it's not fully on so again if I wanted to add something which I may well do that will easily go there and that will still look quite cute and this one I'm going to do exactly the same I'm going to add whoops the tape just on the sides pop that underneath so that I've kind of created like my a little pocket there and I've got a picture of Holly, my daughter, and I'm just going to pop that. Oh, I want to make sure again that, oh no, I don't have anything folding over, do I, this time? So let's pop that. I quite like the idea of a little bit of the green. And then I do think, though, I need, do I need like a little tab on the top? Um, could even do that with a little bit of washi tape, perhaps. Let's try that like this and that. Yeah, that looks cute. And you know what we could do? Add a little staple. That looks really sweet, actually. I like that. And using the same washi again, it just it just feels like everything fits in. I'm so pleased. I'm going to add some washi along the bottom. There's a little bit of pencil wording under there, so that covers that up nicely. Isn't it looking really sweet? I'm so happy with this. And let's add a little bit of washi on there as well. Let's take it off of the tag, the tab. I'm just worried about the gypsophilia maybe not lasting too long. I don't know. I'll see how it goes. Have you ever add, added like dried flowers to your pages? I know a lot of people laminate them, which works really, really well. Isn't this cute? So now I want, I'd like to add a tag, I think. I think having something slid in will look super, super cute. I'm really drawn to these. I like these so much. I want to see if I can make them work for me. Actually, I love the yellow, but it's got such a pretty back on it as well. Let's see if we can get this to work for us. I think this may be too big as one like that size yeah that's not going to work um but the yellow actually the yellow on its own will i quite like that but then i quite like the let's try that and again we could add a little pull that would work, work uh, really work well and maybe even i quite like the green one as well here have that at the top maybe slide that in actually that looks really nice like that I think and then on this side maybe having something there let's trim this down slightly so that it fits 
I just love a page with loads of pockets and bits and pieces. It just makes me so happy. And I love that this one isn't as colourful as my usual. I like that there. Um, let's have the here with you. And I wonder if I've got the dream there in full still. I love that one. No, I've only got part of it, but it's legible. You can tell that it reads dream. So what I'm going to do, rather than not use it at all, I'm going to put it on the back here. And anyone that sees that will know exactly what that's meant to be. And that actually looks super cute like that. So I'm going to pop that on there. Slide that in here with you and dream because I dreamt about this trip with the kids for so long. Oh, that doesn't fold too well. Let's try that again. Yeah, that's neat and tidy. I think this is pretty much ready for some journaling. I would like some form of titling, but I'm not quite sure yet. So I think I'm going to go away, journal, and often then whilst I'm having that quiet time journaling, other things like titles and that come to mind. So let's hope that happens. I'm really pleased. I found this colour of Alphas and it will go perfectly. I've done my journaling, which I will show you in a moment, but I'm going to add the... I think Cambria, actually I'm going to add it here across the top, I think. I was wondering about using something, but I don't really want to cover up this, but I think it's plain enough that, or oh, shall I do it on the back here? I don't know. Um, no, I think I'm gonna try it on here. Otherwise then when you turn this, they might get damaged. No, let's have Cambria on the top there. I've decided to go around the alphabet stickers with a black pen just so it stands out a little bit but I'm really really happy with this page I think it's super super cute and I'll give you a quick look I'm so pleased with the photos and how everything looks now and it's been such a fun way to add loads of photos 11 12 13 14 there's 15 photos on this page and I don't think it looks overly crowded what do you think I think it looks really, really cute. I'm so pleased. This pulls out with the journaling here on the side there. And the same here. I've got some journaling there as well. And then this flips both ways. You can see, take time to smell the roses. And we've got more journaling on the back of these photos as well. I'm really pleased with this. I really like it. I think this could possibly be my favorite pa page in this journal so far. I'm really, really happy. I hope you like it too. I hope it's inspired you today, maybe given you some ideas. Let me know if it has, and I'll try and leave all the bits and pieces down below that I've used. If you would like to see the day when we were actually staying here on this trip, I've got that vlog over on my main channel, so I will link that da um, down below for you too. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Lots of love, bye.